Happy birthday to you! Is my hair on fire? Yeah. <laughs> That's an Olympic determination. Look at that competition face. Uh, face I can... I can love well, it. I'm just going to swear again. <laughs> okay, I'm just... Spice it. Something not right about that. Because <laughs> you lose. Because you are. <laughs> this vlog from the car we are currently in scotland we're staying at a apartment in town um say hello oh hey oh hey dan's the designated driver i just don't really like driving unless it's my car so that's what the plan is today we're just gonna chill basically not really got much planned i have a new game for my switch so i want to play that and it's quite competitive and my family are ridiculously competitive yeah i was literally about to say especially katie so that is going to be funny when we get some food maybe go for a drive through starbucks later just do little bits and bobs but i just thought i'd take you guys along with me so yeah that's the plan we're in sunny ish scotland it was sunny yesterday it's a little bit cloudy today i say a little bit i'll show you screen is gross that's the only little um bit of sun we can see but this is our view very rural very nice like a glasses babe oh thanks just driving so really strange i'm coming to you literally from like way at the end of the vlog um i filmed a clip literally in here dad was in it and i explained basically why dan and i went to scotland it was for amy's birthday and yeah we just went to kind of celebrate amy's birthday and spend some time with the family and stuff and the whole morning seems to have completely disappeared so i don't really know where it's gone it's not on my phone it's not on my laptop so i don't know but yeah that is what's happening so yeah i just thought i'd insert a little clip here just to let you guys know what actually happened we checked into our apartment and then just literally headed straight to my parents house to see my family so yeah i come to you from the kitchen i'm just making myself some lunch i've tried changing into like gym stuff because I'm going to play the Ring Fit game on Nintendo. But I just wanted to talk you through what I'm having for lunch. So I have just plain wraps. And then I've made like a tomato like pizza base puree. Um, with passata. A little bit of sugar, olive oil, garlic. And chilli puree. Just to make it a little bit spicy. I'm going to put some cheese on it. And then I don't know what is in the fridge. So I can put on it maybe ham or something but i will show you when i've put it all together because i feel like it's gonna look really good at the moment all i've done is put the puree on the wrap so it doesn't look that appetizing but i will keep you updated i actually found some salami so i'm gonna put the salami on here add some cheese this looks like is this just normal cheese i think so whack it all in here and see what happens this is the wrap pizza before I put it in the oven. Gonna work it in the oven and then, yeah, I'll let you know what it looks like. Sure. I actually have just eaten two slices and forgot to show you guys my pizza, but that's yeah, what it looks like. Up, like Unbelievable. Yeah. And it tastes really good. I think I put too much chili paste in because it's quite spicy. So Amy has opened her presents now and everything is all good. Hey Lex. I am just about to try the Nintendo Switch Ring Fit Adventure and I'm very excited because my sister's played it before, Katie. She's got it at home. And I know a few other people that have got it. And I put it on my story last night. And everyone said that it is amazing, but it's super tough. So it's going to be kind of incorporated into my new kind of daily routine as my exercise. Or to add to some more ex like extra exercise. But I have heard amazing things. But also, yeah, as I said, it is apparently super hard. So, yeah, I am... Um, excited i've had a good breakfast so i'm nice and fueled so yeah so yeah i am gonna go and get changed and yeah i will see you when i'm exercising 
Okay, so I am on adventure mode now. So it gives you different missions and you need to do different exercises to complete the missions. Okay, run faster, run faster. Yes, I got the chests. Nice. Exercise, how you burn, and the distance you ran. I am sweating. Oh, look! It tells you everything you did, like all the different movements that you did. So it tells me how long I dashed, the ring presses, ring pull and hold, how much jogging I did, low ring press, knee lifts, low rise press and hold, and my victory pose. Nice! So, so far, I've done 39 minutes of exercise, and on my watch, it's telling me. My active calories that I burnt is 314 and the total calories I burnt is 400 and my current beats per minute on my watch is 135 and that's literally almost like 40 minutes of exercise and I've literally just been playing video games. Literally the best exercise. Oh, my arms are so achy. I never do arms at the gym because I never know how to do it but this is teaching me really well. And it's really squishy as well. So like, you know how people, when people go to the gym, Dan, mm. and they get like those weird things on their hands. Yeah. Yeah, and they're really gross. I don't like them, so. Calluses. But, yeah, I don't want calluses on my hands, so. Nice and squishy. So hot, I should have a quick break outside. How cold is it outside, Mum? Pardon? How cold is it outside today? I have no idea. Is it telling you, Mum? 11 degrees outside, nice and cool. Oh, my right thumb. Am I okay? No way. It's giving me my heart rate. That is sick. What the heck? Is my hair on fire? Yeah. <laughs> Lower. <laughs> so it's getting towards dinner time and Dan and I are just gonna head back into town where our apartment is to stay tonight. Neither of us are really hungry. So yeah, we're gonna head in. I've got a little bit of work to do. Editing, etc. Well. I don't edit my video stand us. But I've got a little bit of work to do as well, so we've got that to do. And yeah, we're just gonna chill, we'll probably go to bed early because I'm tired. So yeah, we've got bits and bobs to do, but we're gonna leave now and then come back tomorrow for Amy's birthday, which is very exciting, isn't it? Yeah. So we are back at our apartment. I have this little um pajama set on they have like little frills on them from misguided it's so comfy the material is so soft i love soft material i always get down to feel all my clothes don't i mm -hmm. um dan's currently making us some food and um, we've got <laughs> classic you're always half dressed like you're never fully dressed you're always like i have not got a top on or not got trousers on <laughs> Um, so Dan is currently kicking about in some boxes and a t-shirt. Um, we picked up, we don't have an oven or anything. We picked up some microwave meals from Asda and I'll give you a little haul actually of what we got. And I've managed to connect my switch to the TV in this apartment. So we're watching, um, Joe Frost's Extreme Parental Guidance, I think it's called. So good. I'm actually obsessed with it at the moment. I keep watching it and being like, Dan, look at this kid. <laughs> Um, but yeah, okay, hold on. Mum gave us this for breakfast in the morning. <laughs> so cute. Like <laughs> a little bag of things that we can eat. These are things that Dan saw in Asda. Never seen them before. But you're trying to get your calories in. Calories up. Intense. And they're only 30p. And they're like apparently quite good for you. So 
I'm going to say training. they're good for you. No, 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 but I mean good for what you want to do. Yeah. Um, and we both got this. It doesn't look very appetising now, yeah, but sure. it's basically, we both got this. Oh, we're going to get the same thing. Yeah, I picked the first. You copied me. You copied me, I always get this. To be fair, I saw you had it the other day. So. Literally, so you copied me. Um, we got that, we got some mini croissants. A little cheese on a croissant. Uh, we got some bits and bobs for Amy, because it's obviously her back. birthday tomorrow. This is all her favorite things, apart like, from apart from the stuff that needs to go in the fridge, which is pepperamis and weird sausages that she loves. And there's um, Bernard Matthews, they Bernard Matthews? Yeah, she calls them chicken snacks. Fridge raiders. But they're just not really my favourite thing ever. So, yes, yeah, we got them for her because they're her fave. We've got party poppers and just loads of like balloons and stuff. Because it's her birthday, I don't know if I mentioned it. Um, and then Dan got these, which was actually a throwback to when we used to live together before. Because that's where we tried them, wasn't it? Um, and it's these McCoy's Muchos folded crispy tortilla snacks. Yes, they are absolutely so unbelievable. They're the best crisps ever. They come in sour cream and chili and nacho cheese flavor too. This is not a spot on for McCoy's, but honestly, they're so good. Uh, and these as well, which were new. Um, we'll tease our buttons, mint flavor. And we've got some barbecue chicken wings as well, which are gonna heat up in the microwave. So that is our evening sorted, isn't it, sweetheart? How's your pasta? It's alright. It's alright? You think you could do better? Mm. <laughs> I knew the answer to that question you had, just why do I do up? Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna eat mine now because I'm super hungry, but I'm excited. And we'll keep you up to date, obviously, with everything that goes on tomorrow with this. I actually thought I'd show you the like toiletries and stuff I've got with me. I packed really last minute, but yeah, it's the stuff I've kind of reached for to come here. I've forgotten a razor, so that's my number one fall down. I should have brung, right, brung, brought a razor. Would have been my extra one if I'd remembered, but I didn't. This is what I've got with me. This is the La Roche-Posay Effaclar gel, uh, foam and gel cleanser. I used that after I've used this to take it off. This Avorian solid cleansing oil looks like, this is actually a brand new one I used last night and I've used it tonight. It comes with this little scoopy thing, which you can scoop out with. I absolutely love this. It's like gel to um, like oil formula and it melts your makeup off. I absolutely adore it. Yeah, then this and then Effaclar Duo um, SPF 30. Tanning drops because I did my tan the first night I got here. These are the tan and true, tan true ones and I think they're really nice. They're actually my favourite ones I've used so far. This is the tan I use. It is the Superdrug Own Brand Express Dark Tan. It's 60 minutes, but I leave it on overnight. Honestly, it's the best colour tan I've ever had, and I just think it looks really, really nice. So, yeah, I've got that. Then I have this My Spotlight Oral Care toothbrush and the toothpaste with whitening teeth. Really, really love this. This is the mitt that I use, it's from U-Tan. It's just a really big mitt, which I love, and it means Dan can help me do my back as well. Then the moisturizer, like body lotion I've got with me is this warm vanilla sugar one from Bath & Body Works. It's a firm fave. I've got a second moisturizer, which I use like overnight sometimes, and it's the Benefit Total Moisture Facial Cream. I absolutely love it. This is Dan's toothbrush here. So yeah, that is literally my toiletries that I have with me. I'm very happy with them. Well, like the most I've ever sewed. But yeah, I don't know if you can see like the colour of my tan, but it's really nice. And yeah, all cleansed, ready for bed. Good morning, everyone. So today is Amy's birthday. I have got halfway through my makeup, as you can tell. I've not got any mascara or anything on yet. But I just thought I'd kind of update you on what's going on. We've added some parking to the car so we don't get a ticket. That's the first thing that happened today. And we um, put on Ellen and Neil. So I could watch that whilst I get ready. Dan didn't have very good sleep, did you? No. So he's tired. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. Um, we're just going to kind of get ready to go. Probably get some breakfast and then head in. 
So we have arrived. I'm super tired. But before the day goes on, because everyone's really like, Kate, I think Katie's still asleep. Oh look, it's the birthday girl. Oh, it's just... We're gonna have a Chinese tonight. So I just wanna get some actual exercise in and it is, look at the weather, not cute. So I can't do anything outside. And there's no gyms up here that I have a membership for. So I'm gonna set up the ring fit and get started and get some exercise in. So let's go. Yes. <laughs> oh, she's done it! <laughs> Good effort. 198. Killed it. Current, current reigning champ. Quad queen. <sighs> Quad queen. Can I, can I have another shot before Thanks. I go? Record that. Please. I knew I'd smash the cold slot. 182. <laughs> but it's to, your maximum heart rate is 220 minus your age. So Lucy is not actually that far away from me. To her max. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy's I, on the brink of death. Yeah, but when I work out sometimes, like if I properly, properly push myself to the point where I almost pass out, my uh, heart rate can go to like 210. Are we My ready? Rate 43, doing that 107. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> or working to, to do a workout. <laughs> <laughs> that would be me too, I'd be doing that too. Good work, yeah. mom. It's Love to see it. It's about 600 steps right there. Yeah, it literally is! <laughs> right, so you just gotta press it as quickly as you can. Go. Jeez! What do you go, mom? Fine. Look at the look of determination on Yeah, that's an Olympic, that's an Olympic determination. Look at that competition face. <laughs> Look at that, like, oh, what's going on? Four. No, it's not going to do it. <laughs> Give her some encouragement. Oh. Okay, yeah. as if you're the winner. <laughs> okay, i got to do it now. Is it hard it? Yeah, proper hard work. Proper hard work. She may look mad easy as well, but I'm going to destroy her. I'm going to have dinner. We're having a Chinese and... Just chomping on a poppadom. We got some, what's that? Um, Sweet and salted. Salt and chili chi uh, chicken wings. That's it. Barbecue rum sauce. Barbecue spare ribs. And what's that? Noodles. That is salt and chili and prawns. And that is just for me and Amy. Kate's <laughs> Steve. We're almost done. Happy birthday to you. Put the lights on. I'm happy wow. with that. It doesn't work. That was so good. Don't hold it up the way. You're gonna burn your arm. There we go. Let's get it. Let's go. Cool. Here, get me. Wait me. Beat me up. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Amy. Happy birthday. Do you want some candles so it looks less crap? No. We've done that twice now. That's fine. Cool. Quite, your focus is out of the face. Great job. I'm just going to swear again. <laughs> 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 that was not even funny. <laughs> 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 that just burnt me so far. Are you Gosh. okay? No. Happy. Oh. <laughs> There we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Amy. Happy birthday to you. Wow. See how I did that? 
Yeah, and let it live a match, guys. Yeah. Well, we tried to let it live a match and it didn't work. So let's, let's just let's move just on. They're not as good as we did. Let's move Thanks, on. Thanks, Doral. You're welcome. <coughs> so we are now headed home. I've picked up some stuff that was um, at the house uh, that I needed to bring back down. Um, all the kind of like lockdown rules have changed and stuff. Uh, so we weren't actually allowed to go in the house. Everything kind of has changed so quickly. And I feel like, I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I feel like the rules from the government are just so unclear. And I feel like I'm constantly changing what I'm doing. But yeah, we're heading back now. Dan just filled up the tires. Thank you so much. Um, so we don't, what happens if you don't do it? What, if you don't fill up the tires? Go, it's running flat. I don't know. I don't I don't know why, but when they gave it to us, it didn't really have much air in it. Oh, I don't know what that means, but you had to put more air in it. Yeah. So now we're heading back. How long is it going to take us, did it say? About six hours. Six, six, six hour and a bit hours. Minutes. We'll probably yeah. stop like halfway and get some food. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm literally going to play a Spyro. Katie has completed, didn't she? <laughs> she completed, oh, she did that level for you. Yeah, I was so stuck on this level, so she did it for me. So now I can carry on playing. But yeah. We're heading down. I have a bottle of iron brew. You've got a big bottle of iron brew. Mm -hmm. And we're heading home. So, yeah, I'll take you guys on the journey with us. And, yeah, I'll speak to you guys in a bit. I come to you from a makeupless bedroom. <laughs> I have literally spent the whole of today in bed. I've been so tired. I've slept pretty much all day. I think, like... I don't know. I've talked like a little bit about Miami recently. I'm going to do a video about it. Um, but yeah, everything is good. I'm good. Um, we got home, obviously. Um, been home for a couple of days now. And yeah, I just kind of wanted to round off this video because I have a little habit of not rounding off videos. So yeah, I wanted to round off this video, but I wanted to have a little chat also. The rules, the government rules, the only thing I know is I need to wear a mask on public transport. Everything else keeps changing by the day and I honestly can't keep up. I don't know what the rules are. I don't know what the lockdown rules are. We left Scotland because the rules had changed um, and you weren't allowed in each other's houses. So there wasn't really much point in us staying extra days to kind of like meet up outside the house and you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, we came back down. Um, everything just... It's just so confusing and I don't know if anyone can relate. Obviously, um, there is rules and regulations in place to keep people safe and to keep, like, stop the spread of the virus. And I respect that completely. But I just don't know. I feel like I'm constantly getting told the rules are different and I'm not doing the right thing. And I feel like I just want to... I just want to stay by the rules, but I just don't know what they are. Like, I don't really understand the concept of... I heard something this morning about um, you have to wear a mask in restaurants if you're walking about, but you can take it off when you're sitting down. And from my experience in restaurants recently, you're sat closer to the people who are not on your table than you are with the people that are actually on your table. So, yeah, I don't know. It's just a bit confusing. If anyone can relate, do let me know. Um, but, yeah. I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It's been really nice to vlog again. I've kind of been doing one vlog a week and one kind of normal video a week. So if you if you do like kind of like a weekly few day vlog every single week, then do let me know because I genuinely have been really enjoying filming these and kind of keeping you guys up to date with what is going on. And yeah. Oh, one more thing. My skin is getting worse and I don't know what to do. So it seems like it's very like under the skin, like cystic acne. So if you guys have any recommendations about anything, any products, anything to eat or drink, literally like at this point, I'm so desperate. I'm like close to going to a dermatologist because this is just getting like, it's sore, it's so painful. So yeah, if you have any recommendations, let me know. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Turn my notifications on and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for your support. Bye.